Welcome back, folks. We're going to do an oil change on the Ford F-250 to get it ready for summer. So we're just going to... It's not licensed, so I can't drive it around to warm up the oil. But I'll just let it idle for a bit. You know, 10, 15 minutes and uh, get it nice and warm and uh, we'll do an oil change on it. it out a bit that should be good so we'll come back oh 19 degrees right on Let's see how do we get info look at that 558 kilometers to empty and I've got three quarters of a tank of gas just think how much this thing costs me to fill up when it's empty. It is a shitload. Okay, well, um, we'll warm her up and then we'll get on to the oil change. Okay, I got her on jack stands, the ramps, and it's warmed up pretty good. So, I'm. Um, Ready to take that plug out. And well, of course, now it's uh, now it's getting windy, so this is gonna go all over the friggin' place. And uh, it wasn't windy before, but uh. Let me see if I can uh, get this. Okay. I had to MacGyver this. It's under a little footstool. So I hope. Uh, now, of course, this is tight. There we go. And I forgot a rag. It's always something I forget. Okay, so I'm just gonna move this a little bit over so it doesn't fall over. And that should be good.
Okay, so it's slowly trickling up. That should be good enough to put the plug back in and then get the, the filter off. Everything is black underneath here. <sighs> Wipe up any excess oil because that stuff always attracts dirt and dust. And nice to have your engine or your vehicle as clean as possible. Okay, I gotta go get my oil filter wrench and we'll get that filter off okay i loosened it with my wrench but uh, i couldn't really do two things at once and hold the camera and then take this thing off but this is where the oil filter is and i think i hope it'll line up we'll soon find out yeah, here she comes. I use Wix filters. I've been heard good things about them. And I've used them for many years now. So we'll just let this drain and we'll take it off and then we'll put the new filter on okay we'll get this filter off now Just let that drain and we'll get that new filter ready. Okay, so here's the new filter. What we're gonna do is put some oil on the seal. Always do that. And always have enough oil that will um be enough to change your oil. This truck takes about seven or eight liters, not your typical five liters in most smaller vehicles, half tons and stuff like that. But uh, yeah, and Castro, I've always been happy with Castro. I've been happy with Quaker State, Pennzoil, everything almost. Yeah, I've even used Royal Purple. That stuff is expensive though. And, uh, yeah, let me put some oil on this, get it ready, and then we can put it on. Okay. You can see the shine on it. I put the oil on. And now it's time to put it on the truck. Okay. I'll just wipe off that dri dripping oil there. Make sure it's nice and clean. <clears throat> And the new filter oh, will be right there. So, there we go. That's tight, but we're gonna check for leaks after so now it's time to put some oil in okay here's where you put the oil in and 
I will have to set this up so I can uh, video. Okay, that's not bad. I have to hold the uh, funnel and pour the oil in. Okay. Oh boy. I'm glad these things are not completely new. I've used them before, so it's easier to um, angle it. Okay. Okay. Oh. Let's start with the other one though. Yeah, we'll check on the dipstick what that's set now. Okay, we'll start it up and that will go down a bit to fill up the oil filter and it should be good and we'll check for leaks and uh, put on the level surface on the ground so it's level and then we'll check her, check her again actually. I, I usually check it at least three times. There we go. Okay, we're gonna check that one. That's the oil pressure. Okay. Good. So, we'll just, we'll just keep it revved a bit. For about 10 15 seconds. And then we'll go out and check underneath the vehicle. Okay. Always be careful underneath there. I don't see no leaks there. Or by the oil filter. So, what we'll do next is. Put it on flat ground and check the oil fill level again. Okay, truck's on uh, level ground now. So we're just gonna check the oil level uh, when it's on level ground. Okay. I usually like to use a lint-free rag to check my oil because you know i might not see the fibers off of this 
what paper towel but the engine sure will okay so here we are yeah let's see needs a little more okay so I added a little bit more and it's a lot better it's in between the lines and it's in the crosshatch so it's all good so this will be good for the summertime all right